Hi, welcome back to KK's Quilt Studio. I'm here today to share with you uh, a mug rug design that I made in Art and Stitch. This is the Art and Stitch add-on feature called Art and Stitch Plus. Um, like our long arm embroidery or long arm quilting side of the house and Art and Stitch base, Art and Stitch Plus um, uses many of the same features to create embroidery designs for your <clears throat> embroidery and sewing machines. Um, and so let's get started. I'll tell you how, show you how I created this quick little design in Art and Stitch Plus. Um, let's start with a fresh design page. Um, I have my hoop turned on. You can set it by clicking up here and my grid. Uh, before you start, you should make sure that uh, you're in, in the embroidery side. Your machine format is set. You can do that up here under Tools, under Preferences, and um, you're either going to be in Art and Stitch, you're either going to be in Embroidery or on the quilting side, you want Embroidery, and the correct format that your machine recognizes to stitch out. So every uh, brand of machine has uh, somewhat of a different format, so make sure you know your format. And click OK. Set up your select your hoop size again machine format hoop sizes were 130 by 180 millimeters if you don't recognize millimeters um, it'll always give you a cheat sheet here a 5 by 7 so um, we also want to check our box rotate the hoop because I want it horizontal and click OK all right, you'll recognize we've got a lot of the same tool or same toolbars here um, that we have on the quilting side. We also have one more toolbar. This is for the embroidery. So everything available right now is going to be lit up. Anything not available is going to be grayed out. Um, we're going to start with our shape tool to draw our field. And we don't want to use a regular rectangle. I want to use a rounded rectangle today. Click OK. And uh, we're going to use most of our embroidery field. So we're just going to left click and drag and release. And there we have our field. So... I want to check in our properties panel under the transform tab and you'll see our width and our height is within. If you'd like to nudge the fields a little bit bigger, um, you can make a change either to width or to height. Always make sure your maintain aspect ratio is on because any change you make to the height will be also made to the width and vice versa. So and then just always be sure to apply but I think ours looks good today so we're just gonna move right along all right and the next thing we want to do is to establish our uh, yardage lines and how do we get those well pretty simple we're gonna use our line tool and we're gonna start well, let's start at the top and just to make sure counting over say this is going to be our 50 yard line 40 30 20 10 and goal so we're good using our grid lines we're going to start right at the edge of our mug rug and go down and you can right click to set your line, hit the select tool. Either either one will select your line. And we're going to, we need to select um, 
a drawing color. And just so for ease, let's select a medium blue just so you can see that on the screen. Um, but we're going to um, select a satin stitch and our width. I want to narrow that up a bit. So I, I want to go with the 2.0 and be sure to hit enter or apply. And so my direction, my run is going to be in this direction. My next line, I want to draw, I want to do a traveling line. So I am just going to click along again my grid line and this time I'm going to select a running stitch so my design will sew down in this direction across and we want to create another line back up so let's go to our sequence view and let's select that first line. Let's copy and paste. And I'm going to slide him over here. Now, if I want to, and I should, check my line because remember this one was sewing in this direction. And so if I copy and paste it, it'll be sewing in the same direction again. So let's go to our reshape tool and let's check. And yes, we've got the red dot down here, the green dot up here, which indicates our stitching is going to start up here and end down here. So let's right click and swap exit entry points. Check this line, green, red. Check this line, green, red. Okay, we should be good to go. So the next line we want to copy is our traveling line again. And that's, yes, going to be our run stitch. Let's go back to our select tool copy and paste. So we're going to, again, we need to have, whenever you're dragging a line like this, make sure you have the little hand instead of um, an arrow because this, this won't grab it and hang on to it and move it. So, and let's straighten that line out just a so let's go back. I've got that a little bit crooked. 